Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Bruchelt and today I'd like to talk about how you can leverage the SAP Cloud Platform together with Microsoft Azure. In a lot of customer discussions that I am in, the customer already has Microsoft Azure in place or they're seeing the investments that SAP is doing in the SAP Cloud Platform. So there's often a question, well, what platform should I actually use? What is best to help my business get forward? In the following few minutes, I want to actually show you that it's not either or. It's not a decision whether you should either use SAP Cloud Platform or you should use Microsoft Azure, but actually that when you use both platforms, you can get the best out of both worlds and really bring an additional value add to your users. Together with the partner Bridging IT, we have developed a showcase that demonstrates how we can use the SAP Cloud Platform and the Microsoft Azure Platform as a Service services um, together. It's a workflow scenario that allows you to create a leaf request. For this, we are using the SAP Cloud Platform, we're using SAP Fiori, we're using the SAP API Management, and also the SAP Translation Hub. Then we're combining and extending these services with services from Microsoft Azure like the Bing translation services, the face ID, and the voice recognition. All of this together, all these technologies are actually hidden from the end user. The end user just logs on to the SAP Cloud Platform and initiates the workflow. In the background, all these other services are used and by this are creating the most value for the end user. Let's take a look. First, let me log on to the SAP Cloud Platform where we have created a beautiful SAP Fiori application. From the Fiori Launchpad, you can see different tiles that enable the user to quickly um, enter an application. In our case, I'll start the um, leave request scenario. In this leave request overview page, you can see the different steps that we have to go through. You can also see the technology that we have used behind the scenes to enable this specific scenario. Right now you can see that this page is completely in English, which is perfectly fine. But let's say um, I'm from Germany and I would like to have the very same site also in German. So I can select here um, from a number of um, available languages. So I'll select German and click on OK. Now what is happening in the background is that we are using the SAP Translation Hub to translate certain keywords like um, start, um, select date and, and stuff like that. But we're also using the Bing translation services to translate free text. So just for a visualization, we have highlighted the text that was um, translated via the Bing translation services in red and the text elements that were translated via the SAP translation hub um, via um, in the color blue. So here you can see that it's very easy to get a fully translated um, screen. Now let's switch back to English. Um, obviously the first step that you need to do when you want to go on vacation, you have to select the date. So let's go to the next step and select the date for, for next week, for example. I select the 26th and now um, our cognitive leave request takes an interesting turn because in this scenario you are not allowed to specify how many days of vacation you want to take off, but you actually um, leverage artificial intelligence. So let's click on start here and let's take a picture. So if I put up my happy face and take a picture, then I can analyze this picture in the screen here. You can see, well, I'm too happy so I don't get any vacation. So let's try it again. This time I'll use my sad face. And now if I check the picture, we're again using the cognitive services from Azure in this case, and I can see that I get 26 days off. So that's perfect. Actually, what we're doing behind the scenes is we're sending this information, this picture to Azure, to a cognitive service on Azure, where we can evaluate um, different emotions. So anger, contempt, disgust, and also the sadness. And obviously in this case, I look pretty sad. Um, so that's why Azure recommends that I should get 46 days off 
which is fine, but obviously there, there might be some issues with my manager. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to work on a good justification. Now, instead of typing the justification, I can also again use the voice recognition from Azure to uh, yeah, write down the, the justification. I really need to get some time off. Now we are again using the Bing um, voice services and we get, I really need to get some time off. So, so perfect. Um, you can also see that it's a little pushy. So the sentiment analysis um, um, that is provided at the same time shows, well, I might be able, or I, I should be able to make this statement maybe a little more polite, asking for a little more um, help or whatever from my manager. Um, but let's pretend my manager is not um, an English speaking manager, but maybe he's or, or she's from um, Italy. So I'll select um, Italian. And first of all, you can see that uh, the, the text is translated. Unfortunately, I don't speak Italian, so I, I cannot, I, I hope it's correct. But you can also see that apparently in Italy, um, this statement, I really need to get some time off, is not so bad as in English. So um, here also what can help is that um, if you work in a global company and you really have a manager that has a different culture, that, that not only speaks a different language, but also has a different culture, then the sentiment score can also help you to yeah, formulate the best um, justification for your manager. So, and then the last and the final step, you can just accept and, and send the um, leave request to your manager and then hopefully um, everything is fine. So in this very quick example, which obviously is not a real case scenario, but what I wanted to show you in, the, in this um, example is really that you can really beautifully um, combine services from the SAP Cloud Platform and from Azure. You can see here, for example, in the screen, obviously, that we're using the Fiori Launchpad running on the SAP Cloud Platform. We're using SAP Translation Hub. We're using the SAP API management to really control and um, manage all the services that we are having. These services can come from the SAP system, from the SAP Cloud Platform, like for example here the SAP Workflow scenario, but it can also be services um, that come from another data source, like in our case, the Microsoft Face ID, the Microsoft Translation Services, the Bing Speech Services, all coming from um, Microsoft Azure. So it's really not about should I use SubCloud Platform or should I use Azure, but you can actually get the best results um, when combining these services together. I hope this short presentation got you inspired and now you want to try it out yourself. There's plenty of information flying around, both on the Microsoft side, starting with azure.microsoft.com, and on the SAP side, starting with the SAP Cloud Platform on cloudplatform.sap.com. Take a look and try out the cognitive services, the SAP API management, the, the translation hub, and much, much more services from Azure and try to combine them um, to get the end user the best results. To receive updates to our SAP on Azure YouTube channel, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.